the reaction is, woo, yay! Oh my God! Finally, after three and a half years. So if that is Robert Cosby. We need to go back in time a little bit. Before the pandemic started, he paid a deposit for furniture to be reupholstered, and when months of waiting turned into years. He finally contacted on your side. Susan is here with that story. Three and a half years. It was a long time and wow. it took us a little while too. Yeah. We got involved with this a couple months ago. So there was some back and forth to figure out what happened. But ultimately the business agreed to make things right. Robert Cosby had a couple comfy recliners. They were loved and needed some new upholstery. I mean, they're really nice chairs. He took them to Fabric Depot back in November of 2019. He paid a deposit of more than $1,000 and expected the chairs to be ready soon. Next thing you know, a year has gone by, two years have gone by, now three years plus have gone by, and I still have not gotten my chairs back from Fabric Depot. They have led me on a wild goose chase as to every excuse in the book. Finally, it just, I, I decided to call you guys and say, what's going on? We reached out to the owner. He told us the person he hired to do the job took off with the chairs and he was never able to track him down. Immediately thereafter, he called and he was very apologetic and, um, you know, wanted to know exactly what he could do to make this right. The owner of Fabric Depot told me he'll hand over a check this week to make sure Robert's able to buy two new custom chairs to replace the ones that were lost. After all the running around I was getting, I really thought that was what I was going to get more of, was more run around. But you guys stepped up, and I appreciate that more than you could know. I don't think it would have ever gotten solved if I hadn't gotten you guys. Robert gave Fabric Depot an invoice for two new chairs. He's expecting a check for about $5,000 tomorrow. And these are the kinds of things that uh, my colleague Gary Harper and I work on all the time yeah. with our call for action volunteers. So keep those concerns and complaints coming. Sometimes the results take a little while, yeah. but we really do work on these things day and, in, day and out. And you know, it's not the owner's fault that the employee took off of the chairs, but three years ago he could have said, I'm sorry, but this is what happened. Yeah, we got to make things right, yeah. which is fortunately what ended up ultimately yeah, happening. Totally. Here. Great job, Susan. Thank you.